I live right around here and I feel like you really need to do something because you're right here and everyone around you is helping and it feels... I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, look at all these people who have done so much for you. So you feel like you're really part of something. You make them? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. It's really important that, you know, everyone can be helped that can be helped. My neighborhood's called Tribeca. It's like a little village in the middle of a big city. My old elementary school is about six blocks from the World Trade Center. Well, yesterday I started the cooking stuff. The cookies were a combination of my mom and my idea. Don't take it out until you turn it off, or else it'll go. One bag of chocolate chunks. It's starting to look really good. Cookies are really important to people because they're really good. They're energy, they're sugar, they're seven minutes. Something you grew up with. It looks good. And if you're just coming out of a lot of hard stuff, you really want to have something to make you happy. They've just come out of a disaster zone, and then when they get a cookie, it's like something that their mom used to make them. Um, the helping makes me feel like I'm participating. I'm also someone who's working to make this community back to how it used to be and make our little town kind of normal again, if we're ever going to be normal. There we go, train number three. Yeah, this is for my family, this is for my friends, this is for all the people who are affected. Cookie? And it's also for me because... Chocolate raisin? Absolutely. All right. Because yeah. I feel like if Thank you. I'm away, it's going to stay in me longer. And Cookie? if I'm here, I can get it Chocolate out and raisin? give it away and all give right. it to people. That one? Yes, I made them. Now you have to take one. All right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My first reaction was I was really scared because my school told me it was right by the world, it was in the World Trade Center, and that's where I live, and I thought, what if my home, what about the people I know, what about my family, and I was really worried. And then what you do next? And then I tried to contact my parents, but the phone um, wasn't making connections, and they left a message at my house house that they were all right and they came and they walked to my school. It took them two and a half hours, but they walked there. After the tragedy took place, you know, you see all these tired workers and doing stuff all day and people covered in dust. Everything, you really need to do something about it. Thank you. Chocolate cookie, homemade? All right. How do I resist her? Look at her, how can I resist you? <laughs> well, I hadn't really taken something that was so intense before and, you know, I wasn't sure if I could handle it, but now I know that I'll be able to take care of things like this and do it in a responsible way. Mm -hmm. I really want to stay in this neighborhood. I know a lot of people are going away because they feel it's unsafe, but this is my neighborhood. This is where I grew up and this is where I want to be. It's where we are and we're going to work here and we're going to stay here. Call, you have my office number, call us. Um, you can do like whatever you want. You could do a panel about like what's going on and we're going to put it on here and make like a quilt of all the papers. Yeah, there's some good that's going to be able to come out of this because it's bringing everybody together. We're all working together. Thanks to everyone who is helping.